Welcome to Stories After Midnight. Today we're going to be reading a story called I Keep Her Close. It's by a collection of stories called 54 Sleepless Nights, written by Tobias Wade. Links will be in the description of this video and episode. If you like this story, consider checking out the other installments and maybe picking yourself up a copy of the book. I hope you enjoy it, and let's get started. A date. A harmless dinner. No big deal. So why did I feel so nervous? Sitting in the restaurant booth waiting for him, I ran through a mental checklist to remind myself of all my best qualities. It wasn't helping though, because I wasn't really insecure for myself. I knew what I was worth, but what was he worth to me? Relationships haven't been easy for me. Ever since I was a little girl, I told myself I was never going to settle. No matter if all my friends already met someone, no matter how hard it was to walk away and start over, I wasn't going to stop until it felt like fate. So what if my whole life I'd never met someone sensitive and loving enough to deserve me? If you want something valuable, you shouldn't be surprised that it's rare. Sebastian was an entirely new kind of man, though. It wasn't just his looks, although he was an actor that the camera couldn't get enough of. It was the quiet strength and confidence he carried when he held my eyes and wouldn't look away. Sebastian wasn't just putting on a macho facade, either, because he didn't evade the personal questions. His mother had died when he was a teenager, and Sebastian wasn't afraid to tell me how much he cried the night she didn't come home. He lost his sister two years later, but he kept visiting her in the hospital every day until the very end. He was even married once, but he didn't do that thing guys usually do where they trash their ex as some sort of demon crawled up from hell. Sebastian was open and honest about how much he loved her, and how difficult it was when they both realized that didn't mean they loved being together. But I don't want to talk about myself all evening, he cut in. The way he said it was so refreshing, not as a deflection, but pure and simple humility. I'll always keep part of them close to me, but I'm looking for something new now. I want to know more about you. Then he gently cupped my hand in his, rapturous attention on his face while I talked about everything and nothing. It had been a long time since I opened up like that, but his transparency gave me courage, and I never once felt that I was sharing more than what he genuinely wanted to hear. I thought it was going to be the perfect night when he invited me home with him. The only warning signs I got was when it was time to pay for the bill. The way he discreetly opened his wallet under the table seemed odd to me, always keeping it out of sight, even as he counted out the cash. It's my own fault for thinking he was too good to be true, but I got this intrusive thought that he might have given me a false name and that he was trying to hide his ID so I didn't know who he really was. Maybe he was still married. Maybe he was such a brilliant actor that he showed me what I wanted, not what he really was. I tried to push the thought out of my head, but it was eating me up inside. I got my chance to put my mind at ease when we got to his place and he used the bathroom. Leaving his wallet and his coat flung across the couch, I knew I shouldn't have peeked, but I really did feel better seeing his ID and knowing he was exactly who he portrayed himself to be. I would have felt even better if I hadn't checked the other pocket, if I hadn't found the three little black medicine bags, one containing a stubby big toe with chipped red paint on the nail, another containing a slender pinky, mottled and spotted with age, and the third finger still wearing its golden wedding ring. He was taking a risk, being honest, when he said he always keeps part of them close to him. So... Why shouldn't I take a risk now, when fate has finally delivered the, almost, perfect man? Thank you for listening to this short story. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, comment, let me know. And uh, maybe come over and hang in Discord. It'd be nice to see you. If you'd like to support this channel more, you can do so on Patreon. I'd so appreciate it. And just thank you for listening. With all that said, we'll see you in the next one.